Okay, this is a video on PDF fill. Um, this is a program that I just started testing and basically what this allows you to do is to <coughs> make a fillable form or a PDF that you can fill through the computer. Basically instead of having just a flat form that you can print and manually uh, fill this allows you to basically put in text boxes where you can type your information. Um, on my previous video, I was going through the whole thing, which took quite a while, and I want to redo that again because um, there's no point in showing you every single detail on this, but I will try to cover a few other basics. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> I'll put in these uh, boxes here. So in order to uh, select it, I have to right-click here. I'll cancel that, but as you can see now, it's highlighted. If I go here, they're all highlighted. So um, I can just go ahead and delete it. Or if I choose it, excuse me, I'm trying to delete this box. There it goes. So basically I have to uh, <coughs> left click on the left side here and it for some reason is giving me the X even though I was using it before. Um, then I'll do it on here. I'll just select it and delete that. So basically when you have a form that doesn't have any uh, text editing options, what you can do is for example on here I'll just go ahead and add the uh, text box right there. I'll keep it at the default 12. It's usually 10, but I already changed it to 12 uh, font size 12. So we'll go with that. And now I want to create a checkbox here, which is here. So you have to make sure you select the correct one. And that is done just like that. And I was a bit confused about how to actually putting my text in here because I was sort of following the prompts and things like that, but um, you actually do everything here, apparently. So, once I have everything filled out, if I click anywhere here, it'll tell me to insert a new form fill. Please drag and the left mouse button to draw a text area, which is what I have uh, highlighted here. So, just click on the uh, select tool so you don't have to do anything else right now. So basically this is my filled up form. It's just a form I got off the website <coughs> just to test out. And normally the reason you want to have something like this online is because uh, you can have people actually fill it up on their computers and have very clear readable text. I know a lot of people don't do it but that would help you if you just want somebody to fill them online. Um, I think uh, the Acrobat Adobe might let you do it, Adobe Reader Excite, I think I read, will let you uh, fill it up or fill it in, but with this program I believe you can do the same. So now that I have my seals uh, done, I can go ahead and start inputting my information. Then I want to insert a line of text. right here. So I'll just say my name. I'm not sure where to align this as I just started using this so forgive me. And I don't know, let's see, uh, I'm just randomly clicking on there so let's say today is what, the uh, 8th, 7th, um, 08. I think you can actually um, make this smaller. I'm thinking you can, you should be able to. I uh, just moves it. Okay, that's kind of annoying. So let's do that and let's just say uh, 7. Let's 
till 7 and then uh, 2017 so let me see if I can go ahead and highlight I press escape to get out of that uh, for some reason it just highlights everything so I'm going to move it down alright this isn't working too well as I thought it would so that's kind of annoying <coughs> anyway um, I'm just started playing with this so forgive me I'm not sure why it's not aligning there um, you can do one hold one I'm sure but I'm just trying to fill in the individual ones this is definitely not the way I want to do it but just for test purposes let me see if I can do a uh, make a PDF out of it save as PDF we'll call it film um, let's see if that works so yeah there you go I can kind of start doing that um, and basically that's all this allows you to do which is kind of nice but you know I still haven't played with it too much but at least there it's something versus what I had before which was nothing so um, I hope this is helpful and um, that is a PDF file for you and uh, you can do this at home if you're in an office, you obviously want to uh, purchase theirs. It's not very expensive, and it's something that I believe will help you. So at least you can get some uh, forms that you can have a little, can have people uh, fill on their computers to make them a little more uh, readable. Um, I'll check the Adobe and see how that works out with this uh, program because yeah, this is a little off. So I'll have to play with that a little more, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, here is part two of my uh, beginning video that I just did about PD fill and uh, making a fillable form from uh, basically any form that you just print it out or have on hand or download it. Um, now that I already put all the fields that I want to uh, fill in, it's actually pretty easy once I read the instructions on the website. So to show you that, you don't want to start going by these tools here, putting a line of text, etc, etc. You just want to choose the selection tool right here to edit. And now if I want to start filling this application, for example, or whatever it is, I can just click on here. I don't even have to do anything. Make sure it's filled, and then I can... Yeah, of course, now it doesn't work. Anything work. Um, so let me escape. Okay, I just want to fill the form. I don't want to uh, do anything else. So I have to really click in the middle there, uh, so you can see. And to undo it, you just click it again. So let's say I want to click there. I want to fill in the information here for, I don't know, my name, let's just call it whoever, uh, John Doe, and then if I want to go to the next field, I can tab it, and I notice that if you don't put them in order, it goes up to this field instead of the other one, so when you are making these fields, make sure you start with whatever you want to start with, so that you can tab over to it later, because see, if I tab now, you will see that and that, and below but you can always use the mouse to go to whatever it is so we'll put eight uh, whoops, and then zero seven so if you didn't get that right make sure you uh, look at what you're doing because if not it's going to go to a different uh, area here uh, 2017 and of course I got that wrong so I can go ahead and edit just like uh, any document uh, we'll go with John uh, Apple Street uh, LA. I'll just go LA for now. 
so the whole point of this is just to uh, get a really quick uh, filled application and actually this is very quickly once I've figured it out um, so what we want to do here the next step is to save this as a PDF file which is what I was doing but I wasn't sure what to do there so I'm not doing anything special here I'm just gonna click on save as and we'll call it a final just so that I can tell the difference between all the ones I've done uh, we'll save that as a PDF and we'll open it up and guess what it's already filled up well I mean what I have on here so once you do that you can just print it out and take it to wherever you'll go so uh, this program is actually pretty cool the uh, PDF fill so if you have a static application just go ahead and make the uh, fields here the editable editable fields by using this right here and then once you have that done you just go ahead and click select tool the arrow here oh that's why it wasn't working when I click on it it depends on if I click on it once it'll highlight this if I click again it'll highlight that so you gotta be careful and it's just a matter of uh, learning the program which is what I've been doing for the past hour or two um, so yeah that actually works very well and um, if you do work uh, in a business well for home um, this is free but for a business um, go ahead and support their uh, their work it's actually very inexpensive and this will allow you to have a nice fillable form online uh, that people can use the same program to uh, fill it out um, and then bring it in and you'll have a nice readable form again uh, it didn't take me that long once I figured it out so it's there's a slight learning curve like anything else but it should be fine and um, anyways that's the uh, PDF fill everything is done in the PDF fill I was trying to use this other editor and tools and that is for something else um, so don't bother with those two and if you do want to use them check out their uh, manual information on their website I am not in what do you call it um, I have nothing to do with them I just found them and because I wanted to uh, do this sort of thing or I'll fill in an application that I just wanted to see if I could do this um, the other option is obviously it's going to be Acrobat Reader or Acrobat no I don't want to I just installed Acrobat Reader just to uh, see this right now. <coughs> so let me see here. I think it's already open. Nope. So let me do this real quick. Final. So yeah, it opens up as a regular PDF, as you can see here as well. Um, I'm not sure if you can actually edit the PDF here. So you do need Acrobat and their program, but that's something else, and I just wanted to check it in there. So y all you need is a PDF fill to actually make the uh, whatever uh, page you want fillable, and then just use the same program to fill it, and then just export it as a PDF file, and print it out, and you're done. So that's a quick look at the PDFO, which uh, works really well. And I hope that helps.